Gentlemen, congratulations on the movie. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> is it nice to finally be able to talk specifics and like actually get into it instead of like <clears throat> two years of being guarded with your answers? Yeah, I mean, we're still guarded with a few things, but yeah, we, we can get a little more specific about what people have seen. Two That's years fun. of guarded with uh, answers. I don't yeah. know about that, but uh, anyway. Crack on. Um, I, I just have to ask you real quick, if you don't mind. So you have voiced Green Lantern. Yes. You're now Hawkman. Um, who is the next character you're playing in the DC universe? <laughs> <laughs> uh, Hawkman, Hawkman, and Hawkman, hopefully, if this, uh, this train keeps moving. One of the things that I was really surprised with the movie, in a good way, was um, how violent it is. Um, like Black Adam really kills a ton of people and I wasn't <laughs> sure Dwayne was gonna do it. Um, but like, it, that's the character and he mm -hmm. really puts it on screen. Yeah. Can you sort of talk about that aspect that this is not a Black Adam that's pulling any punches? Yeah, this is raw. It's raw and hearty and yes, the, you know, Black Adam does kill openly. A lot of bad guys, you know, I think it's, it's important to know he's killing bad guys um, for the sake of the people that he's protecting and, you know, for for his moral compass. But um, along with that, it really is a backdrop to the real conversation that we're having in terms of what is good and evil, what is right and wrong. And to what extent do you go to what lengths do you reach uh, to accomplish what you believe is actual justice? Right. What is the definition of true justice when it means different things to all people? So for Black Adam, especially as he comes up against the JSA and they both have two very different foundations for justice, it becomes that personal, individual and at the same time cultural conversation about what belief system is the right choice to go with. And, you know, there's there's real heart and real dynamic sort of um I don't want to say weight to what we're doing here, but we have the explosions, the great powers. We put that on full display in the most maximum way ever, but it's all anchored to something that is real and full of substance when you walk away from the theater with some real things to talk about. I'll ask you a, a question. Um, you've worked on so many different projects at so many different levels. What was the thing that maybe surprised you the most about making Black Adam and how it compared to some of the other projects you've worked on? Well, it's just the scope of this story, the vastness, it's very operatic, it's huge. It's uh, the mythology of comic book world, which is, you know, uh, far reaching. This movie has, well, let me think about this, a little bit of action. Um, I'm <laughs> underselling, I'm just, underselling just, a just, a, you know, just a little bit. <laughs> but um, there is some, some a, a big battle sequence between you and Black Adam in an apartment that as I was watching, I was really mesmerized by how they filmed it and what was going on. I don't want to reveal anything, but can you sort of talk about what it takes to film a sequence like that and what it's like to fight, you know, it, the rock? Well, it takes months of preparation, but it takes a, a fantastic stunt team, stunt coordinator, but all that is brought together by the vision of a DP and the direction mm -hmm. and further vision of an amazing director that, you know, like we had Larry Sher, who's our DP. We have Jean McCallit Sarah, our director, who really, you know, they composed sort of cinematic ballet when it came to these things. It's not just about fighting and being brutal. It's about how do you how do you exercise the most beautiful way to actually put this on display. And they knew they were reaching for, and not even reaching, but actually holding on to uh, a different way to show what a fight sequence looks like, what superpowers look like, you know, and this is not something I feel like we've seen in the DCU or even in any superhero universe we've seen thus far. And that's what I love about it is we get to introduce and present a new way to experience and see what, you know, a real battle looks like. So they were creating art in the moment and that is exactly what you see. You see beautiful art on the page. On that note, I already have to wrap. I'm just gonna say, I know it's gonna be a big hit. Congratulations, thank you, thank thank you. you for your time. Thank, thank you. you.